Okay, this device is Micro Greenstorm. It's also another micro device. It's based on the original Greenstorm, but again, uh, you can have as many instances as you like in your live set and process each instance uh, by itself with whatever processing that you want. It's another device for the arc and the grid. Um, this is how it works. Um, on this device, you can kind of scroll through the buffer. And the difference with granular synthesis is when we land on any area, uh, it can just sustain it infinitely. Then we can use this arc encoder to uh, change the width of the grains, the width of the, the buffer that you're using to draw the grains from. Uh, there's an LFO that will, you know, kind of scroll across the, the buffer for you. Uh, you can also uh, transpose the grains. Oops, wrong one. Or change the duration of the grains, which is what I was doing down here. Um, but then when you get the, the grid involved, uh, it adds another level of the performance. Now you'll notice that this is blinking, but um, I can uh, play the sample by choosing different pitches on the x-axis. And you see that the parameters kind of change on the arc over here. And if I, if I like this thing or if, I, or if I don't like it, I can edit it a little bit. Like maybe I want to push this over a little bit. So it's a little bit louder, more close to the transient. And then it starts to blink. And then if I press it again, then it writes that edit into that location. So if I move back to it, it's going to um, encompass that edit. Uh, it'll even remember like if I'm, if I'm adding some LFO to it, like we could do that. So if I press this, it's going to remember that. If I go back here, the LFO is stopped, just sustained and now it's encompassed the LFO again. Uh, essentially, you could treat this as a keyboard, like X axis would be you know, pitches moving from left to right, but actually it's 128 presets. Um, so these parameters can be remembered, like the LFO rate, the LFO amount, uh, the you know, cursor position on the waveform, the width, all this stuff can be remembered and recalled and performed in real time. And there's also a, um, um, a sequencer recorder as well. So we could, for example, kind of record this in and then play it back. And there you have it, that's uh, Micro Grainstorm.